This is Spurverse. Take five. Hi everybody, welcome to Spruverse, my scale model universe, and this is take five, where I take five minutes just to show you a detail I'm working on, or share with you something that I feel is not big enough for a whole episode, but certainly worthy of five minutes of your time. Take a look at what I'm doing. This is the HMS Victory from the Agostini. And um, I've had this uh, sort of on the bench and I've been slowly working on it. It's an all wood construction uh, model. I bought the entire kit. Um, now, as most of you know, if you've gone to the Diagostini website, this is no longer um, in stock or, or for sale. Whether it's coming back or not, I do not know. I have also gone to Shapeways and picked up some parts to replace some of the metal parts uh, that come with the kit. I found them to be a little crude and the 3D printed parts that are, are on the way to me uh, should really pop some of the details on this model and that I'm very excited about. The one thing I did do is I did get the uh, paints for the HMS Victory. Now I believe the paints, paints, believe it or not, are still available. And these paints um, follow the ex exact formulas, uh, not exact formulas, but I would say the exact colors, uh, references from some pretty upstanding model makers. So I'm very excited about that because I don't have to think about color correction. The other thing I did was I did pick up the copper tiles. Now, these are unfortunately are no longer available either. Uh, I don't, well, it says they're out of stock, I should say. Uh, but you get 4,500 of these things, and you're supposed to use a, um, uh, not necessarily CA glue, but a gel glue, or something that gives you a second to put them into place, because I think they grab and they go down very, very fast. Now, um, this could take months or, if not years, to do, <laughs> and I'm not sure I have the stamina to do it, but I wanted to have these anyway, and I'm glad I do. There is a company that puts out copper tape that's the exact same width. You're just supposed to score it where you want the lines to appear to look like the different plates. I have ordered a roll of that and I'll share it with you when it arrives. Not entirely sure it's something I'm going to be using, but uh, nevertheless, we're gonna give it the old college try. Uh, let, me, let me show you what I've got here is, um, the first, uh, the first actual six rows of planking are on uh, this, this side. And uh, now I'm duplicating that on the other side and it's just actually, I've got the first row in and it's drying. Because the next thing they're gonna ask us to do is start cutting in the gun, uh, the, the gun placement uh, portholes. And um, I have created a little 12 millimeter square template for that. And I am hoping that uh, Shapeways can bring me or give me, or sell me, I should say, uh, the, the frames for this particular 184 scale. I think it'll look a lot cleaner. I will say this though, working with wood uh, as opposed to plastic, it is a little more forgiving in some ways. And, and um, I, I'm, I'm really enjoying this. So anyway, that's the update on the uh, 184 scale HMS Victory from Diagostini. I'll keep these updates going while I'm taking a few weeks away from the, uh, the, main, uh, the main hobby shop. Uh, but until the next time, be well, be safe, guys. Build something, and I'll see you next time. Take care, everybody.